Hello, everyone. Uh, we're the DC NIH crew, probably uh, the group that has spent the least amount of time, but we'd still like to share our story of Soren and Swampy. So my name is Billy Chen, and I'm uh, Soren's current roommate at the NIH. And um, I spent 12 months with him, and I just can't help but fall in love with this guy. He's so charming, adorable. Well, I mean, that's at least what he tells me, and the reason why Swampy loves him. <laughs> But in all honesty, I mean, these two are so filled with love. There was one weekend where I had to keep two secrets. Swathi to plan, planned a secret visit up to the NIH. The weekend right be, uh, after a secret visit planned by Soren to visit her. <laughs> so that was an awkward moment. But much love. Um, I find it interesting that we all know Soren and Swati very differently, especially Soren. Um, uh, the way I know Soren is uh, he and I have, over the past year, run around DC causing trouble in everyone's lives, um, spicing everyone's lives up. We call each other Zad and Soren. <laughs> um, it's, it's just really interesting to see that, you know, on the inside, he's actually a sweet, innocent, romantic person. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Hi, my name is Osman. I know uh, Saran through uh, Red Knight here, uh, while he's been in DC. And uh, I remember when uh, he came, uh, when he uh, proposed uh, to uh, Swati, and uh, he had me uh, come and take uh, a couple pictures of them at the Kennedy Center. But he told me to wait downstairs before, uh, so that he could actually do the official proposal and then come down and get me. He's like, you better not walk in when I'm actually proposing. <laughs> so I was waiting downstairs, and he came down, and uh, we went back upstairs to the balcony. And, um, uh, even though the second set of uh, pictures was staged, you can still tell that they both uh, truly cared for each other, so it's, uh, it's very nice. Hi, my name is Rafa, and I have been lucky enough to have Soren as my best friend for the past eight years, um, starting from Vander our first Bandy days, and I've also been lucky enough to also witness their, their lo entire love story from the very beginning. And one thing that I remember in the beginning is the, the, the puppy love, the the days in Rand Hall, which is our dining hall, we used to sit, big group of us, all of us friends at lunch. But oh, Soren and Swati would feed each other on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the beginning of the relationship. But over the years, I've seen this love grow. And um, when it finally came to proposal time in DC, Soren must have dragged me to almost every location in DC to find the perfect place. And it ended up being at the top of the Kennedy Center overlooking the entire city. It was absolutely beautiful. And I am just so, so happy for you both. And um, I can't wait for the, to see what come up. Hi, I'm Ken LaCroix. I thought, although I'm not part of the DC crowd, I've known Soren since March of uh, 2003. Um, and I uh, just wanted to say a couple things. Um, so, I think all, everybody knows that Soren's a warm-hearted, sincere young man with that charm and everything. But I think the, it's my belief that the single most distinguishing characteristic about Soren is the amount of time and the amount of care that he puts into his friends. And what's most incredible is that he found a girl that's just like him, that will put the equal amount of time and care for all of her friends, and not, not only that, but his friends as well. And that's why I know that this marriage is going to work, and it's going to last a long time. So, thank you. So with that, we have uh, one last number that we're going to do for you, and the ending's for you, Soren. Yes.